Uh, so this is continuing a game I've been doing on YouTube. And for anyone keeping up with the series, this is actually going to be an episode behind, because I recorded an episode earlier today, which will be released tomorrow morning, so this may be a little confusing, but honestly not much that happens really in this game, so... Well, actually that's not entirely true. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, thank you, Elephant. Were you born in 1998? If so, I find it odd people who put dates like that in the end of their names. Okay, so the current thing we're going to be doing is uh, moving the super cool force, this expedition force, north, killing people, killing things, getting treasures, and trying to finish these... These damn old quests I've had for a long time. Uh, okay, move. Oh, two unliving corpses, four skeletons. That's that's a that's mm, that's a difficult that's a difficult group you got there. Hmm. I kind of want to kill them. Well, let's first kill these people. Crazed bees, we can auto-resolve that. No problem. I think I'm going to go get reinforcements. And we're going to kill this group there. Alright, so we're going to take the good warriors Voitech. We're going to take Bratimir. And... Actually, I have to equip some people. Hold on, please. Radomir needs armor. Hmm. I need to take armor from the town. There we go. All right, Radomir, you can equip that scale coat. Very good, very good. Milos, you're fine. Svetlana is fine. He's as fine. Actually, Isa, you can get this gathering basket. Just because. You're fine. You're fine. Good enough. Eh, Smith's apron's not that great, but uh, you're alright. Voitech is pretty awesome. Voitech has this Dragon Slayer sword, which gives him six leech. And he also has this snowy peak shield, which gives him insane defense. So Voitech is is doing pretty good. Is this going to be enough to kill them? Hmm. The thing is, I don't really have many other warriors here. Like Luboslav, I guess, kinda. I guess. Oh wait, hold on. We do not want the town eating those. I keep clicking on the wrong button. Uh, Luboslav, what do you have on you? Hmm. No, we're keeping the town. I think this should be enough. Hopefully this is enough. We have ten people. God, I hope it's enough. Alright, more armor has been done. Research. We want... We want... Eh, something. We'll get... We'll get some granite. See if there's any granite around our town. Come on. There you go. Granite. Aha! Alright, so we got granite and silver that we can go grab. Quartz I already got. Uh, steel and mithril, so we need to go down here and get some mithril. Mithril. The game gets kind of choppy when you try to drag around with your middle mouse button for some reason. Alright, well, let's keep going. I really hope this is enough. Uh-oh. Scouts report something of interest nearby and mark it on your map. Scouts spot a very unusual landmark in the distance, a statue made entirely out of silver. It is likely that some danger may lurk there, as no one has looted it yet, but it is a lot of silver up there for the taking. Let's check it out. Silver, yeah. It's really good to get spawned. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Alright. So now we have a place to see. 
which is in the opposite direction of what I'm going currently. Uh, hello, Himdal. Did I lose or gain anyone since the episode I put up today? Um... Yes, the child that was in the super cool force. Oh, did I rescue that child today, or was that the episode I recorded today? There was a child I had in the super cool force's inventory, and they grew up. That happened in the episode I recorded today, which is going to be up tomorrow. Confusing, I know. Hello, Necro Warlord. Come on, click on the one. Go. Oh, okay, yes. We have this ability to do the tactics instead of just, up, uh, just fighting. So I think tactical is going to be better. A tactical challenge. Since the undead often have great sense of smell, you chose a particularly sweaty volunteer and they run around in circles, trying to confuse the enemy while the rest of you steals anything you can. Alright, so now we're going into a tactical challenge, so we shouldn't be able to die. Is the good thing here. And they only have two cards, so like we, we're going to win. We're going to crush them. Even though our offensive capabilities are pretty low. I uh, guess we'll start with Lei. Then we'll play, I guess, Voitech. And their tactics suck. So, yeah, this is going to be really easy. We can even... Can we confuse that one piece? That, yeah, there we go. Look at that. We can even confuse that. We can... I don't know. It doesn't really matter what we do here. Because we're going to win. Just get closer. Alright. So instead of actually fighting this battle out, we can instead do tactics. There we go. We won! It turns out the undead are not the wisest. You distract them well enough to have plenty of time rummaging through their stuff. You have to hurry before they simply stumble upon you. But you have time to grab some loot. We got this spiked club. And some experience and resource points. And now that encounter is gone. So there we go. Easily taken out. My favorite way of saying cool is... Cool. Indeed. I need to make a sequel to that game. Uh, so I gather those people not even really needing the extra help. Um, so, you know, we're going to go back to the awesome, what is this, YouTube villa? And we're going to put those people back in the town to protect it from any events that happen. Because that can happen. I did not realize we would be able to take care of that um, challenge with just. Um, tactics. Bradamir, you go back. Uh, Miss Gerber, Miss, Miss Heber here is the child that grew up. Did I ever outfit him with anything? Yeah, what? Kinda. I guess you can take the iron club. Wait, ooh, right. I made the sword, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna give it to you, because you're not the best. Let's give it to... Let's give it to you. And then we'll give Miss Gerber this ancient girls. He also needs armor. Oh, we also have a shield here that I didn't equip anybody on. Now, uh, let's see. That's six armor, nine defense. This shield is a lot better, I believe. Eleven armor, nine defense. Uh, so you'll grab that. And then the hand-me-down shield, we can go and put that to Miss Gerber. Some weird names. But he still does need armor. Luckily, we are in town. This is our town inventory here on the left. Uh, I can just click that button and we'll get all the armor and things. We do have the scale armor. Alright, we'll put that over here. Then go to the equipment for our party and click on the Skerber. There we go. We could also give him a crafting or gathering tools, but I don't have any to give right now. So, it's kind of bad. We do have the small amber. Oh, there we go. You have a small amber charm. Sure, you can now... Oh, wait, no. Charms are jewelry. That's not... That's, that's a whole different thing. Never mind. You can't wear that. Do you have anybody in our party who can? Uh, you already have one, which gives you the medic skill and magic, so we don't want that to take that off. Lei has one that gives crafting and gathering. Uh, Jan? Jan could take that. There we go, Jan. Way to go, buddy. 
All right, now we are ready to continue our voyage. Ah, that's the wrong word. Our adventure. What food are we eating? That's all we have? Hmm. All right, well, before we leave, let's try and get some more food. There we go, cooked fish. We'll take some cooked fish. We'll take more meat stew. We got a lot of nuts. Before we leave, let me see if I can make any cooked meals with nuts. Put up this crafting. Go to cooked meals and nuts. I just gathered a ton of nuts. Oh, it's, no, it's not even an option. Okay. Well. Well, crap. That's unfortunate. Uh, Bolzloff, go there and make some more meals. Or actually, you can just do that. I'm out of fish, so I can't make any more cooked fish. Put Voitech there, we'll put Bradamir there, collecting vegetables. Alright, back. Close. Now we're off. Next turn. Alright, first stop. Spider's Nest. Kill anything else around here. Drop to the Divine Quest. Uh, someone is not doing anything. That would be Miroslav. Because he is done building our second cabbage field to attract more babies. So what are you going to do now? Let's see. Make any gathering tools. We, need, uh, we do have some wicker. Alright, so we'll put wicker up here. We will put... Uh, let's try furred leather. And then the catalyst of that will get four gathering skill. I think that's going to be about the best we can get right now. Let's try spider silk. That will be five. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. We're going to make that. Uh, we can only make one because we only have three wicker left. We need four. Which sucks. And wicker is kind of far away. But anyway, we'll put that out there. We'll put Miroslav to make that. Back. Close. But yeah, there is some wicker. Down here. It's across a river. That I haven't really scouted out yet. But Oh well. Go to the spider nest. If you research artifacts, you can craft some and give them to your warriors. It's a good idea. What if I was a taco? Hmm. You know, funny story. In Dominions, in a multiplayer Dominions game, I had a taco as my god, and um, Josie murdered the taco's friends and then slowly consumed the taco to death. It, it was a weird game. That's no joke either. That actually that happened. Uh, we can auto resolve this one. There we go. Got from some spider silk. This warped snakes. I may fight that one out. Who isn't doing anything? Everyone's doing something. Why did it give me that message? Maybe it's from last turn. Oh, the warped snakes attacked me. Okay, sure. We'll fight this one out. Uh, I kind of want man in the assault force here. I'm just going to reshuffle to see if we can get that to happen. No, we didn't. This is kind of worse. Alright, well, we have to keep him playing. Uh, well, that game wasn't recorded. I don't, th I don't think we recorded that one, Viscount, so it's not on the channel. If that's what you're making reference to. Alright, so these warp snakes, I can't remember how many hit points they have. I want to say it's like 10 or lower, so we will start with... Uh, we got two cards to play. Let's play Miss Gruber. And... Do you have any counter offense? Do you have any traps? Level 1's probably not going to do it. You could probably counter tactic. But I think I'd rather just play another person. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with Tomko. He has poison damage. Yeah, sorry, Viscount. <laughs> Alright, so they have 11 HP there. That's not bad. Uh, Miss Gerber can take care of that. Uh, we'll play these other two. Just which order? We'll go Lei and then Milosh. He has higher armor. You love the little bird sitting on man's shoulder? 
Yeah, he does, doesn't he? I don't know if I ever really noticed that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I never really took the time to look, I guess. Uh, okay, so they have three more offensive cards that can come out to play. It is possible that we could counter tactic and grab their last tactic card. So I think we're going to try that with Yan. Alright, we got lucky. It was a level one card. Very good. Uh, what now? Let's see. So, Miscarabur can kill two, and we got three other... This is this fight's already over. Basically. Uh, so we'll just do Protect Ally. We'll do uh, another Protect Ally. But yeah, this, this, fight's, this fight's done. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, Man and his little bird friend can go into the fight. I probably could have bought a result this one. Well, snakes got some leather very good oh the spiders want to come and play as well no good call but I'll come after you yes I will that's free experience right there auto resolve boom shaka oh we got some uh, level ups I unfortunately dismissed the level up of our town uh, but let's see lay got another one in traps which is just really good is a is stronger that's all good. It's all good. Very good. In turn. Gathering tool is now done. I kind of want to make another expedition. Now, an episode ago, I by making another expedition, I lost people. Which has made me very wary of leaving... Making a second expedition at all. But we have eight people here. And most of them aren't really doing anything except for gathering wood that I don't need. And vegetables that I don't need. When, what I really need is, um, like, I can gather these mushrooms, fish for more meals. The, I don't need any more nuts. Um, but this, I can gather some elven wood. Like, that would be good. More quartz would be good. More scaled leather would be good. Basically anything. Like, fruit, wicker especially. But I'm not going to send anybody down here. This is going to be reserved for the super cool force because they're mostly warriors and my scouting party. Uh, you know, it may not be risky to send a group up here for exotic fruits that's not far from the town maybe we can do that but I'm still kind of wary I'm very wary this game has me afraid of splitting my people up anymore uh, let's go hit this divine quest holy crap a lot of baddies up here uh, we can auto resolve that Yeah, the spammers have been really bad. Do I like some kind of sport? Hmm. I got into college football for a year. But no, not really. Can I make a palisade yet? I can. We got the quartz for it. Excellent. Everything is proceeding according to plan. See, I have 603 logs because I have people in town just getting logs because that's that's what we do. Uh, all right, so building a palisade out of these two courts will give everybody inside the town a plus four to their defense bonus. I, I guess that's worth it, but I mean, it's spending 80 courts. 80? I don't know. I don't know about that. What about a watchtower? Does anyone know if having multiple watchtowers stacks the bonus? Or does it just take the highest? Because that's three. That's three additional vision, which I would love. Do, do we? Do anybody? Does anybody know this? Or is this just going to be a waste of time? Nuts. What would this give us? Plus two to food, plus one to attract human. You're saying that the plus four defense is something that can stack? Okay. 
Alright, well, sure, we'll build the Palisade. I don't even have one of them yet, why not? It's just a lot of resources, but we can get course pretty easily. It's it's pretty near to town. It's not that hard. Uh, so sure, we'll do that. We'll put Miroslav on the job. And that's it. Eight turns. All right, let's go take care of some spiders. I really hesitate to do the auto resolve here. We'll give it a shot. All right, all right. So now I know I can kill those spiders with auto resolve. Divine quest. Explore. You find the remains of an old town built in solid stone with a large central building that, even in its crumbled and rotting state, looks very impressive. Like many such places, you feel the cold dra uh, draft of the ever-present dark mists. Lurking at every corner, you see a faint light coming from one of the towers in the central building, and you know this is where you must go. We can ignore all the fluff and go straight upstairs. Ah, we'll investigate. You enter the old building, and soon realize it must have been a place of great knowledge, as even the entrance hall, there are vast shelves with remnants of books on them. Indeed, as you go in deeper, you find a rusted shield with the words, The pen is mightier than the sword, and the sword of knowledge defeats any foe. Before you make another step, you are met by a hooded stranger. Welcome to the Grand University of Krakus. How may I be of assistance? He chimes as if nothing is awry in the world. Watchtower does not stack. Okay. Very good. Thank you for uh, googling that, Kaze. Uh, let's see. Let's... Wait, Grand University? I think we've met one of your fellows in a tower. We did! That was a long time ago. But yes, we did. Ah, yes, you must be referring to Professor Common from the Human Advances Department. He's been listed as being on sabbatical in an old tower for almost a century now. Or perhaps you speak of his esteemed colleague, Professor Hufka. He too likes towers, although he has been reprimanded for using illegal magic, you know. You may want to go up and speak to the board if your interest lies in either professor's field. Um, a board meeting? What are you talking about? Excellent, you must be from another foreign delegation then. I've been told there might be latecomers. The board meeting is on the third floor in the Throne Rose Room. Thorn Rose Room. You look towards the stairway and you see it is crumpled and full of cracks, but it should be fine to climb. Alright, sure. Let's go. You go upstairs and find many more empty, eerie rooms filled with rotten bookshelves and destroyed books, laboratories with smashed equipment, and lecture rooms with decaying tables and the stench of death. But as you enter one such lecture room, you see that at the center, by a large round table, sit six people dressed in academic gowns. Hmm. Let's say hello. One of the figures at the table turns to you, and for a second, you see only a skull. But then you blink, and an old man's face stares at you. Hello there. I see you have come seeking answers, yes? How did you find us? We were cursed long ago, never to be found by a living soul. And I dare say you look alive? Our god told us to come here, why not? Ah, so they are finally strong enough to try and regain their powers. And so they send you to seek answers. Uh, you are correct. In short, we were the ones who took the power of the Pantheon to ensure our colleagues could burn the cosmic tree without interference. You took power away from the gods? You're kidding, right? It was not easy, nor done without the aid of powerful and evil magic. But it was done. Each god, you see, had their own duty, their domain, and it was both their strength and their weakness. By hitting them all at once, we also didn't give them a chance to aid each other, as they normally would. Why did you do it? Why did you burn the tree and hurt the gods? Well, that's a funny story in itself, I suppose. We were tricked by the Human Advancement Department. We were presented with false data to suggest that the gods were about to destroy all life, that they'd grown arrogant and wanted to wipe Thea of humans to create new, more obedient kind. Anyway, it was all a lie, and those who knew the real reason are no longer with us. Hmm, great. So you have pretty much destroyed Thea for a theory that turned out to be bollocks. Oh, I guess that shows where this game has been uh, made. Bollocks, huh? Yeah, 
In hindsight, it all seems rather ridiculous. But you don't know how it w how it is when you're in the zone. And it was a good theory in principle. I mean, there is no definite proof that the gods didn't plan our demise. That's a good point. Uh, you said you used dark magic. Our plans were cosmically big, as it were, and so we needed help. Help that a few would be willing to give and even less capable enough to provide. A mage arrived on our doorstep, offering all the right answers. Even after we figured he was the famed Dark Lord, banished ages ago in the Great War of the Eye, in the Westerlands, we still couldn't say no. It was him or nothing. So faced with working with an entity so evil that it almost devoured our world more than once, on more than one continent, you thought it will all be fine. You said you were a professor? Oh, don't get me wrong. We knew we were working with evil, but the pursuit of knowledge, of understanding, the very notion we could defy the gods, it was glorious. I think the Dark Lord didn't even break a sweat convincing us. Great. Uh, so you're telling us no one realized what you were up to? I guess it does sound rather grand, but did no one see the foolishness of your plans? Let's go with the first one. Alright, there were suspicions. Some gods even took notice, but the Dark One was clever, and diverted their gaze every time, building a fake army in his old stronghold and sending out omens of his return worldwide. This was step one of our plan. This was how we would trap the supreme gods. Hmm. Yes, like Perun and Mokosh in the Easterlands. Every land in Thea had their own. They needed to be broken first, else their power would protect the others. Mokosh, we cannot lure away. She is wise and careful. But Perun, well, let's just say he was keen to go into battle. Very keen. Uh, Veles is our god. So let's see, Veles, Lord of the Underworld, how did you trick the trickster? Ah yes, Veles, who sat in the roots of the tree, guarding the gates to the afterlife. He would lose power from the cosmic tree's demise, but we needed him distracted more than most. Uh, thank you for following the channel, Death All Might. But Velez is not only the master of the underworld, he is also the lord of magic, and some say he was of the elven kin first before he became god. We attacked the western islands where the elves dwelled when they wished to leave the human realms. Velez run to their aid, and so did many elven guardians. So it was enough just to lure him away from the tree. Oh no, of course not. Like with many others, we had to make a trap. In this case, we invented a device that would target all creatures of elven descent. Once we had all the greatest heroes in one place, we detonated the hellish thing and it spread like wildfire. It would not kill any of them, you know. It was supposed to overload their magic, so that for a time, they would be rendered unconscious. But you see, the device had a strong side effect. Okay, what was worse than rendering our gods disabled from action? It's very long, so I'm drinking water here. Alright, only that afterwards, when the tree burned, the connection we made with the device, it spread a dark curse to all elven kin, killing millions. They had a genocide. Great. These people are just very, very good people. You know, people I would want to hang out with, obviously. But what you need to know is that the device cannot be reversed as such, and yet there are rumors of an elven survivor who is the key to all this. Seek out the oracle. She will guide you. Fine, you murderous scum! Where's the oracle? Uh, before I tell you, we must ask a favor. We've been cursed to stay here, neither alive nor dead, for eternity as punishment for our actions. A sentence we accepted with grace and understanding. It is not often you get to destroy the world and nearly kill off gods. However, we wish to be freed now. It's a good point, Viscount. Why is it? Well, it's probably because they haven't got to talk to many people lately, you know? So they see us living people and they're like, Hey, man, we're going to tell you our whole life story. Because, like, you're the only people we've ever seen. Uh, okay, so you want us to free you. Why would we help you? Because you need our help? Because you're merciful? Because you believe we paid enough? I could show you several papers you wrote just about this subject. In any case, choose your reason. Hmm. I don't really want to help this person. Like, not at all. The Oracle will tell you that you guys live in the Matrix. Oh, God. No. 
We're in the Matrix? Ah, oh, I've been lied to this whole time. Damn it, Oracle. Let's say the fact that you're using information as leverage for your release means you've learned nothing. Yes, many of us share your enthusiasm for the punishment. We are tormented by our faults, believe me. But to be stuck like this forever. If you kill us, we will only suffer the pain of death, but eventually we will return, marked by another scar. But if you use your connection to your gods to break our curse, perhaps we can be released. Let's see, you have sentenced Thea to death, and worse yet, you have taken arms against our gods. You shall suffer the punishment that you were sentenced to. Give us a location to suffer death. Your crimes are despicable, your arrogance beyond measure, your stupidity is trusting dark forces. Goes again. Alright, so we let them go or we don't. Oh, give us a location first, and then we'll think about releasing you. I like this. I like this. I have imprinted the location you seek in your minds. You will find it whenever you seek. Okay, so we can either fight, do an intellect challenge. Uh, shutting the gates of the underworld. You shall remain so until Velez regains his power and punish you. So it sounds like we either fight, fight, or do an intellectual challenge. Hmm. I, I don't like fighting against three skulls, but, uh... <sighs> you have aided those who shut the gates of the afterlife, and there is no mercy for you. Since Velas cannot take your souls to his kingdom by payment, we shall be his hand in your punishment. Why not? Fuck it. Let's do it. Two forlorn wraiths and two wraiths. Okay. I have no idea how strong they're going to be. Uh, we'll keep this. Oh, that's... Okay, they're pretty weak. Like, they're really weak, actually. Um, we could... We could counter tactic... I'm trying to think what we can use here. Uh, let's see... We can confuse you. Let's play is a first. Nah, then we'll just play man. We'll see how this goes. There's only four of them. That sucks, confusing manic like that, but that's okay. We'll just do Yan and then Tomko. Hmm, I should have confused that forlorn wraith first. Oh, but we can just do this. First action. Okay, we can still get out of this. So we'll first action Tomko. Yeah, this is fine. First action Tomko. Uh, confusion doesn't really, like, matter. I guess we can just do protect ally. Doesn't really matter. Get closer. This fight's over. So this is a three skull challenge? This seems just really weak. I won the challenge. You've defeated the tormented unliving bodies of the scholars and you feel their pain as the killing blows rip through their souls. You feel strangely satisfied as you watch their bodies twist in despair. Feel the wrath of the Pantheon! You find yourself shouting involuntarily. A strong blessing, blessing washes over you. Wash. Okay, what, what's the blessing, though? Alright, hey, well, you know what? We killed some people that deserved it. And there's our next quest. I guess we go that way. <laughs> 